What's up guys and welcome back to some more House Flipper. So we are on episode 3 now, which is still working on the garden after house construction. So obviously we've still got all the outside to do. We've still got the downstairs to do, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, is this area and this bit here. And episode 1 we did that room and that room, which is the kitchen and dining room. And then in the second episode we did the entire upstairs, which are those rooms where we've actually made a slight change to this room. We've moved the door over to the side here, so you have a nice, easier walkthrough rather than trying to walk all the way around the bed. So we've just moved it about a bit. It still looks pretty nice, still looks really good. So, yeah, if you want to see that being built or the one down the bottom being built, those two rooms, there's cards at the top of this video right now. So you could go back and watch those, or you could just click on my channel, go into playlist, it's all there. Watch those to catch up, then watch this one. Subscribe to my channel, that way you won't miss out on the future episodes. And hit that notification bell, because that way, when the video goes live, you get notified. So, now we've got to work out what we want to do down here. So, normally I'd do the whole painting all the walls with the white paint, but that's just going to take forever to do, so we're just going to get rid of that. And now we've got to plan what we want here. So what I'm thinking is, this could be the nice living room. And then I want to try and turn this into maybe a little games room type thing. I'm not really too sure what we're going to put in here. But first of all, we're going to need walls. So, let's go... Oh, I forgot I could build more walls now, can't I? There we go. <laughs> build loads of walls. Um, what I'm going to do is let's work off of this side. I think that lines up because we need to work out I believe is it eight I think it might be eight one of the gaps one two three four five. yeah that's eight so we're gonna need a gap of eight so one two three four five six seven eight that should do for the entrance so if we build those walls there no there we go Get that lined up. Then that way we've got this as a little doorway coming through here. Just to separate the two rooms off a bit. You don't want it too open. And then we're going to need the top bit. Put that in. That one in. That one in. And then that way, that's kind of a bit separate. We're going to put double doors in. Sliding doors. Just It's better than having single doors sometimes. So we've got that. Now we just need to work out colours. Right, so we've just finished painting the entire place, which it looks nice. It kind of works with the floor. It works with the other colours as well, I think. That looks quite nice there. But one thing I have noticed is you can't paint the stairs, which is really annoying because that just looks ugly. So that's something else they need to put into the game to fix that. But we can now get rid of the paint pots. We used one and about three quarters, I think it was, to do all of that. So quite a bit. That was quite a bit of paint to do it all. But yeah. That colour looks pretty good. Now what I'm thinking is, in here what we might do, is actually do some panelling. Okay then, so that is all of it done. Now I have noticed that that's flickering like crazy. I don't know why it's doing it, but I do have the flooring over it. We'll just ignore it, it's fine. So once you've put in the flooring and the walls, next thing you need to focus on are the lights. So we've got our lighting in. So all we've got to do now is doors, windows... And furniture. So let's focus on the doors first. I'm thinking let's go for brown ones. Right, there we go. So we've got our doors on. Finally. Do that. That's all good. That's very nice. Um, just knock that down as well on the other side. So let's clear that. And we're going to have to put in a few more light switches. So let's go to installations. Light switch. Buy many. We're going to put one there. Completely forgot last time to put one on this side, so we'll put it right in the middle like that. And then we need to put this one back on the outside of it. A bit high, but it's fine. That works. So there we go. We've got doors in. Now we've got to work out what we want to do. Now, obviously, because the wall's right up against that one, we can only put a blind on there. You can't put a curtain up. So we'll have to uh, do blinds. Let's just get these whacked in quickly. Right, so they're in. I think all we've got left now is furniture. Which is quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that. Because I've had enough of looking through there. Let's close the um, front door as well. That'll look quite nice. 
So, I'm thinking... Oh, and also with this bit, like I said before, I can't paint it, so imagine it's the same colour as the walls. It'll look a lot better. So let's go furniture. Okay, so now I've put everything in, let's have a little look around. So we've got our front door, nice little brown one. So let's start from the outside, we'll walk in. We come into this nice lovely room, got some nice chandeliers up. We couldn't put curtains up on, on there because they didn't have the colour, which was really awkward, so we've done blinds. We've obviously got blinds there because the curtains won't fit and also over there. So we just kept it all the same. But try to imagine that there's curtains up at them that are roughly the same colour as the wall. But slightly off colour, you know what I mean? We've got some nice bits on the little unit over here. We've got a coat hanger, shoe cupboard. We've got another unit over here with some bits on. Also some surround sound for the nice TV. The DVD player is on the floor because we couldn't put it under there or in that little bit in there, which is where I would have liked to have put it. So that's annoying. We've got our computer desk over here, which is quite nice. We've got obviously brown slidey doors, which works quite well. We've got light switches everywhere. Clock, quite nice over there. We've got a little reading area. Obviously, you can't stand the books up for some reason on the game, so just imagine that it's packed full of books. I've just put them there just for a little bit of show. Nice little chair for reading on with a lamp. And also, you can't paint the bit on the stairs there, so try to imagine that that's the same colour as the walls. It's, it's a little annoying, but it's quite a nice room. We've got some nice sofas, we've got an armchair, coffee table. It looks really nice. I, I think I've done a good job in this room. And then, if we go through these double doors... We've got our little pool billiards room, which is quite nice. We've got a guitar up on the wall as well, old school style. And then we've got a shelf over here with a trophy on. I would have liked to have put a few more shelves up, but couldn't find the right colour. That's why that one stands out so much. It's not supposed to be, but it's the best we could do. And there's one more thing that I'd like to put up in here. Just as we get towards the end of the video. If I scroll down, I believe there is a picture that I wanted to put up. That one. Good old American muscle car. I mean, come on, it's a games room. Why not? We kind of want that up there. It kind of helps tie in the guitar and the shelf as well. So that could go up there. A little bit tacky, but I still like it. Very nice. Beautiful. So yeah, that's everything that we did in this video. And I think it looks absolutely awesome. So that means in the next episode, we'll actually be working on the outside, finally. We'll actually be working on the garden part of this garden map. So, yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of the future episodes. And if you haven't seen episode 1 and 2, go back and watch them. They're quite enjoyable. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.